Hi, in this video today we're going to talk about network connectivity uh, and connecting your client machine to the server to find a license uh, and some of the common problems with that. Um, so we're going to open Risa 3D as if it's a network version that we've installed and we know that there is a server available to hand out licenses. If I try to open the program right now, we'll see that it uh, it's actually sending a broadcast out onto the uh, local subnet. And I come up with this message here where it says no response to the broadcast. Um, so the, the program is again looking for a server machine to find a license. So this is telling me that either Sentinel RMS License Manager is not on the subnet that we're looking for or that the broadcasts are not possible for some reason. Uh, it offers the option of adding the address or DNS name of the server to the LS Query List Registry Entry. Uh, well, let's get a little more information on that. So we can actually press the Help button and that will open us up and give us take us straight to the, to the uh, spot in the help file that we need. Uh, so we kind of see some of the same information here. Uh, for the solution, it says uh, if they're on different subnets, so if your client is on a different subnet than the server, or you know, even there are cases where there's just a timeout uh, behavior that's occurring that's causing this error, um, then it says point the client machine directly to the license server using the ls query list entry. If I click point, it will kind of give me information on how to do that, and that's what I'm going to lead you through here. Um, essentially, if you go to start and run and type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, say OK, that will open us up into the registry editor. Uh, and if we go to the top here, we're going to look for HKey Local Machine, software, uh, and if we're a 32-bit operating system, then we're going to go straight to RISA Technologies, which is what I have here. Um, if you're a 64-bit machine, there's another step in here. We'd go from software to WOW 6432 node, and then to RISA Technologies. Um, so I'm on 32-bit, so I'm going to go straight to RISA Technologies. Then I'm going to find the program that I'm trying to open, which happens to be RISA 3D Network uh, version 10, which is the latest version. And I'm going to input an LS query list in here um, to point my machine directly at a server. So I've checked out what the IP address of my server is. I can put the IP address or DNS name, uh, and I'm going to put that directly in the value data. Uh, so no no hack hack or anything like that, just just the direct IP address, uh, and then I'll say OK. I'm going to check that out. And one other thing I want to take a look at um, is a Windows firewall. So I do need to check and make sure that the firewall on both the client and the server are open. Um, so if I go to Start Settings Control Panel, and again I'm on a Vista machine here, so it will be slightly different. How to get to these? How to get to the firewall on, say, a Windows 7 machine? Uh, but I'm going to go to Windows Firewall, and I have an option here that says Allow a program through a Windows firewall. So if I click that, it will fire this firewall settings, and here I can I have the exceptions option where I can either add a program or add a port. Um, so if I go to Add Program, I can find Risa 3D. 10.0 and say OK. And that will then uh, add Risa 3D to my exceptions and allow communication for Risa 3D. Um, so I want to do that both on my machine and on the server. Uh, and so once I've done that and I have my LS query list set, then one more time I can uh, attempt to run the program. So I'll say no here, and if I now have those two settings taken care of, then I'm able to get into the program. So that's just a quick, 
quick tips on how to uh, deal with some of the most common licensing issues.